Hello and welcome to Car Pros. Today we're going to show you how to test an ignition system. Step 1. We're going to identify the type of ignition system used to be tested. Most cars use a coil over plug type of system. There are several variations, but all work on the same principle. Step 2. When checking for a misfire, while the engine is still running, the fuel pump must be disabled to avoid accidental ignition discharge. Using the owner's manual, identify the fuse location. Step 3. Once the fuse is located, use needle nose pliers or a fuse removal tool to remove the fuel pump fuse from the power distribution center. Step number 4. Remove the safety from the coil electrical connector. Some cars are not equipped with this feature. Step number 5. After the safety has been removed, depress the electrical connector tab to remove the connector from the coil assembly. Step number 6. Once the connector has been removed, locate both terminals to be used for testing. Step number 7. Because these terminals are small in size, sometimes a paper clip or small wire can be inserted into the connector terminals, which makes testing easier. Step number 8. After cutting the paper clipper wire, insert a, each piece into the terminal. Do not let the wires to contact each other. This could cause damage to the computer. Step number 9. Once both terminals have been prepared, use a voltmeter and set it to DC voltage. Also, install alligator clips to the leads to ensure a good connection. Step number 10. Next, using the voltmeter lead clips, attach them to the paper clips or wires, and also, polarity does not need to be observed. Also note, that you should not let the leads touch while doing this test. After connecting the leads, turn the engine to the on position without cranking the engine and the voltage should be zero. Step 12. Crank the engine over while observing the meter. Engine should not start. This meter should pulsate between 0 and 12 volts. This is a confirmation that the computer coil driver is sending signal to the coil for spark and the ignition system is working. If no voltage is observed while the additional coils on the system operate, check for bad wiring or computer. If none of the coils trigger, operate suspect a crankshaft angle sensor or computer control relay. Step 13. Once this portion of the test is complete, remove the voltmeter leads and the test pin from the coil electrical connector. Step 14. With the electrical connector disconnected, remove the ignition coil mounting bolt. Step 15. After the mounting bolt has been removed, gently lift the coil from the plug well. Step 16. After gently removing the coil from the spark plug well, inspect the coil for any broken pieces or cracks in the housing which are an indication of failure.
For this next portion of the test, we're going to need a test light. You can pick these up at pretty much any parts dealership. Step 19. Next connect the coil to the coil electrical connector while a grounded test light is creating an air gap between the spark plug contact or the terminal and the tip of the test light. Step number 20. While keeping hands clear of the test area, have a helper crank the engine over. An electrical spark should be observed if the coil is functioning correctly. If no spark is observed, the coil is failed and a replacement is required. Step 21. After replacing or testing is complete, gently reinstall the coil into the spark well. Step 22. Once the coil is in position, install the coil mounting bolt and tighten. After the tightening the coil mounting bolt, reconnect the electrical connector into the ignition coil and reinstall the safety if your vehicle is equipped with one. Once the job is complete, we can replace the fuel pump fuse that we removed earlier, and then shut the fuse box. Once the job is complete, start the engine to check coil operation. If the, in if the check engine or service engine light soon light is emitted, use a code reader to check for codes and reset the system.